Hmm. Oh, wow. This is confusing. The greatest common factor of a set of numbers is. Man, Brandon, who do you think could answer this and explain it? Because, you know, just if you said A, you don't know why it's A, you shouldn't be so happy with yourself. Because if you don't know why, I mean, you have a 25% chance of guessing, right? Right? If you don't know why, you don't know anything. So, Brandon, who's going to tell us? This Dylan guy? Dylan, how you doing, buddy? You're doing no. Oh, no, Dylan. What do you got, Dylan? Let's explore some misconceptions here, because then we'll learn. You chose C. That's funny, because there's a video called I Choose C, and it talks about... Uh-huh. Yeah, it talks about a kid who doesn't... They know how to function in school, but school's so far removed from actually learning now that... Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't apply. apply. All, All the things you learn how to do to get by in school just set you up for failure. I choose C. Yeah. And then looking around for a partner so you can think pair share. Yeah. Huh. So he chooses C. The same size as one of the numbers in the set. So the greatest common factor of a set of numbers would be the same size as one of the numbers in the set. Do you guys agree with that or disagree with that? You disagree. Can somebody give me an example of how this would be wrong? Think about it for a second. Think about it for a second. How could this be wrong? Why is that wrong? Is this, you got an example of why that's wrong? Why? Ah. The same size. Oh, wow. So here, 12 and 15, the greatest common factor of 12 and 15, he says, is 3. Is that true? Is that the biggest thing that's a factor of both? Okay. Um, hmm. But this isn't the same size. Can somebody come up with an example of when this might be true? Whoa. What do you got, Parth? Oh, my goodness. This is very confusing. So is that right or wrong? Oh, that would be really mean, wouldn't it? That would be mean. I don't know, maybe. Because this seems to be right and wrong. Oh. Yes, sir. So it says the same or smaller than the set of numbers in the set. Like, like this. this. Oh, oh, and, and like, like this. This, this fits, fits for both. Both, both of these fit in that statement. statement. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. But, but I have I a have problem with this. this. There's a problem. Do you guys, like, look very carefully at what it says. I'm sorry I'm teaching you how to read. It's math class, but if you read it very, very carefully. It says, the same or smaller than the smallest. Oh, wait, I take it back. There's a word right here that I didn't quite see. Oh, that makes it okay. Okay. Is A wrong? No. Smaller than one of the sets in the numbers. Oh, wait. Smaller than one of the numbers in the set. I got my merds mixed up. Sorry. I got my tang tangled. But new yo marawin. You don't do? New Yo Marawin, yeah, I got my merds mixed up. Sai Mari. Yeah, okay. Uh, so, do you guys think it's D? Hmm, interesting. Which one is for sure wrong? B is wrong. B says that the greatest common factor would be larger than one of the numbers in the set. That would only work if never. Uh -huh. Wait. Would that ever work? That wouldn't work. So B is always wrong. But could A ever be right? Smaller than one of the sets in the num one of the numbers in the set. Like this is smaller. Well, this is smaller than one of them, right? 
This is smaller than both. So A could be right sometimes, B could be wrong always, or it is. What about C? Is C ever right? C is right here, isn't it? Dang. Man. But they all fit in D, right? Here's the thing that's confusing. It says circle your answer. Could it maybe be answers? Could you have more than one? On your quiz Friday, you're going to have something like that. It's going to be fun. Or there's going to be a list of things, and you have to circle all that apply. Or it might be something like this, and it would say circle all that are false. Sorry to make you think, Parth. <laughs> Okay. okay. Um, um, Tristan, Tristan, you doing okay, you okay back, back there? there? Yeah? yeah? I mean, I, 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 what, what's going on? on? Like, you're, you're always, always facing, facing the, like, the, I don't know I if you know, know this, this, but, okay, okay uh, that, uh, that direction over there is east, east, and this is west, west. that's south, south, that's south, north. north. The, board's the board's on the north, north wall, wall, and you're, you're always, always facing, facing south. south. Why are you that? That makes me concerned that you might be a black hole for grades. Like, 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 like everybody, everybody around, around you, you might, might have, have a lower, lower grade, grade because you're distracted and therefore you're distracting them. them. Oh, no. no. I could, I'm just, I'm just it's, a it's a theory. I'm not I'm accusing not you of anything yet. yet. But, but I actually I do this experiment, this experiment where, where if I have a kid that I think is a black hole, I'll move them to a different chair and I'll leave them there for a few weeks and I'll monitor the grades of the students that sit around them. And it's true, there are kids that are black holes for grades. Like, everybody, everybody around them is dumber just, just for their existence. And sometimes, and sometimes that, that kid is actually, is actually like, 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 sometimes, sometimes that, that kid ends up being the smartest kid in the whole class. But everybody around them is dumber because they're, they're just, just like, like kind of immature and they're not interested in helping or anybody. Sometimes, sometimes the smartest kid in the class, like everybody around them is smarter because they're very helpful. It's interesting. Okay. Number two. Wow, number one took a long time, didn't it? But do you see how you learn more when we talk about the answers instead of just say, oh, it's this? And this is kind of ambiguous. We don't really know. So next one. The lowest common... Wait. Now I'm... I'm, I'm oh, my gosh. I hate this. What's the difference again between a factor and a multiple? Go ahead. Oh, wait. No, who, who started? Who's, Dylan. You're Dylan, right? Did you start saying that... Go ahead. Tell us. Right. So, like, so like, it's, it's really, really kind of confusing, confusing because, because 3, 6, uh, uh, oh, I missed one, 9, 9 12, 12, 15, these are, these are multiples of 3, yeah? yeah? And 3 and is a factor, is a factor of, them. of them. They're so, They're so closely, closely related, related, multiples and factors, factors that, that if we're not really careful, careful with how we're thinking, we interchange them, and then that gets us really confused. confused. The people that came and asked for help this morning, um... I, I showed, showed them this, them this and, I and I showed them, showed them something like this, right? One uses, One uses the greatest common factor, factor the other uses, uses the lowest, lowest common multiple. multiple. Because, because if you're, if you're adding, adding, you have to have a, have common, a common, common denominator. denominator. That's the lowest, lowest common multiple. multiple. When, when you're reducing, reducing you're looking for the greatest common factor because that's what you divide out. Okay, Ms. Beamer, number two. The lowest common multiple of a set of numbers is, what do you think? You see what? B, because, because of, Beamer? of Beamer? Sure. sure. Wow. wow. B says, B says uh, that, that the, the lowest, lowest common multiple of a set of numbers, numbers is larger than one of, of the numbers in the set. set. Can, somebody Can somebody give me an example of when that would be true? true. When is when B, B true? true? Abraham, what do you got, buddy? Is that larger, larger than, one than one of the of sets, sets or, or both? both. But, but this says larger, larger than, than one. one. Do you see what I mean? Dang. 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 We have no, no females that are being risk, risk takers. takers. They're all They're like, like, oh man. man. They're just They're like just waiting. waiting. Oh, yes, oh, ma'am. Yes, ma Thank you. Thank you. Yes. That's why you're my favorite student. Oh, she, oh says she says 12 and 24. 24. And, and what's the lowest, the lowest common, common multiple of 12 and 24? 
24. Is 24, 24 that's the LCM, LCM, right? And it's larger than one of the numbers. It's larger than this one. So that's an example of why B would be true. Is B always true? No. No. Okay. Huh. Tristan, you had your hand up over there. What do you got? Do you think that that's the best answer? What do you think is the best one? Huh? D. The same or larger than the largest set of, of the number, the largest number in your set. Do you guys agree with him? Can you give me an example? Like, okay, so if that's the best answer, is it true here? So the lowest common multiple is larger than the largest number in the set? Oh, but it's the same. Oh, and look at that word. That's confusing. Oh, because it's the same or larger. Ah, and is it true here? Is this the same or larger than the largest number in the set? So I think that that covers all of it, doesn't it? Which one's false, Rag? Or the none of them false? So A is false. Yeah? Huh. Brianna, you see A is false or no? Can you tell us why A is false? Not sure. Anid, can you tell us why A is false? Correct. When you're talking about one number and another, if the second number is smaller than the first, then that would mean it's a, a factor, not a multiple. Factors go smaller, multiples go larger when we're talking about whole numbers anyway, right? Yeah. Okay, good. Thank you. That's, that's why you're my favorite student. Okay, uh, okay, next uh, one. Next uh, uh, I had a question this morning. this morning. They wanted to know, can I write it this way or can I write it that way? Yes. This one's better, though. This is a perfect, uh, a perfect square because it's 9 times 9. But you could just write 81. Okay? The thing that people always do that's wrong, not always, but often, they write this answer right here. Now, Nine squared, nine squared is 81, is 81 but nine, 9 is not a not perfect, perfect square. square. Also, also, no, yeah, it is. It is. It's three squared. squared. But the bigger, the bigger problem, problem is uh, uh, this is not in between. Do you see? see? Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Miguel, you, you doing, doing okay, okay over there? Over there? Wait. Wait. Yeah? Yeah? You sure? Sure. You know your name? Is your name, is your name Miguel? Miguel? Okay, because you look you confused. Look confused. Oh. oh, okay. Uh, Miguel, uh, Miguel uh, what, are the, what are the prime factors, factors of 38? Of 38? Anything, Anything else? else? Some people Some are people saying, saying one. one. Uh, some, some people are like, yeah, yeah, yeah belongs, belongs there. there. Some people are like, uh-uh. Yeah, uh -uh. One is one not is a prime, prime number, number, so, so one's not prime. prime. Right, Allison? Right, Allison? And you're having a bad, bad day? day? Yeah, why? Oh, yeah, you told, you told me I forgot. forgot. Okay. okay. All right. All right. Um, now. now. Easy. easy. I think I for think you guys this should be easy, easy right? right? What is what the is greatest, greatest common? Com Wait, why do we why use greatest common factor? When is greatest common factor used? used? That's right. It's used for reducing. And this is and used this for, is for common, common denominators. denominators. You could probably write those down if you wanted, if you didn't know. No. Right, Natalie? Right, yeah. yeah. Man, Man, that's why this is my favorite class. What's up, Diego? Common denominator. Juliana, you doing okay back there? Yeah? Are you having a good day? Do you have questions on this homework? Do you know why I didn't go around and check this homework? Because when you take your quiz, if you don't know how to do this, you're going to fail. And I'll grade that one. That's good enough for me. 
purpose of homework is not the credit you get for the homework. The purpose of homework, again, is the learning. I'm not your babysitter. I'm not going to chase you around. If you want to learn, I'm available to help you, and there's lots of resources available to help you. So I trust that you guys are in charge of yourselves. OK, we'll see how that works out. This one should be easy too, right? But maybe a little confusing, because the numbers are kind of ugly, right? Watch, check this out. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you a, some, some shortcuts. There's, there's a couple ways you could do this. You could list all the numbers that 24 and 80 go into, but you could also do this. Here, let's do it over here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so let's see. Bainte four, ochenta. Let's find the prime factors of 24. Prime factors of 24, that's uh, eight times three, right? OK, so that's two times two times two times three. Is that good? That makes 24. OK, do I need one there? 80, 8 times 10, right? So that's 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 5. We sure? 4, 8, 16 times 5 is 80? Oh, wait a minute. 10, 10, 20, 20 times, times 4, 4 20, 20 times 4 is 80? 2, 4, 8 times 10 is 80? Oh. Huh. Kevin's looking at me, they'll all give me a dirty look. Kevin, you see what I'm doing or no? The, the prime factors, it's a unique combination, but the composite factors are not unique. And yeah, you can see all the multiples of 80 like right there in those primes. You just combine them together in different fashions and then you get it. Okay, now, here's the thing they have in common. They have eight. Do you see they have eight in common? Yeah? So they have eight in common. Wait, what's, what's greatest common factor again? Of both? both? Is eight a factor, eight a factor of, of both? both? Yeah. Is that the Is that biggest, biggest factor, factor of both? Of both? Yeah. How do I know oh, for I know sure? For because sure. this only has this a three has left over and this has 10 left, left over. over. And three and 10, and ten don't, play don't play nice together. together. There's nothing There's in nothing common there. there. That's, the, That's greatest the greatest common factor. factor. You see how I got it? Holy moly guacamole. Now, that's the GCF right there. Now, the, the lowest, lowest common multiple, multiple, I take whatever's take left, left over, over three, 3 and 5, 15 times 8, 24, 24 times 5, five. Uh, uh, O over, over there is spaced, spaced out. out, your initial your spell, initial O, spell. Spaced, spaced out. out. That's a sad story, he wasn't oh, even he here, yesterday. here yesterday. Wow, he's still not, he's here. Still not here. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, wait, what is, wait, this? What is this? 24, 24 times 5. Times five. Wait, how many, how many, how much how money is five, five quarters? quarters? Five quarters? Yeah. yeah. 125. And how far, how far is this from a quarter? quarter? These two. These two. One, one away from a quarter, quarter right? right? And, and, and one times, one, time, one five, five times would be five, five less. less. Is it 120? Yes. Eight times three times five? five? Is that 120? Is that 120? No, oh. oh, well, that's cool. Oh, that's, cool. No, but that's, not right. that's not the lowest that's common, common multiple? multiple? Oh, you see what I forgot? That's embarrassing. Oh, so 240. Man, do you think I would have figured it out if I like wrote that down? Do you think I would have found out that I made a mistake? If I checked, I right? Checked, right? I'd, probably, I'd check. probably check. I would just say, oh, wait, does that go in there? OK, now wait a minute. Without doing division, just looking at the paper. One of these numbers goes into 120, and the other doesn't. How can we see that from this? Math will make you healthy, Allison. Allison, do you see, um, 
Do you see how you can tell from the factors which one of these two will go into this and which one doesn't? I'm sorry? Wait, what? It was weird because I know you're speaking English and I understood every single word, but I have no idea what you're talking about. I know it's my fault, like, but I don't understand what you're saying. Oh, I see what you're saying. No, I'm asking a different question. I'm saying, look, because of all, like, like, look, you know how I was missing this number right here, right? Without that number, you get to, like, these three things right here make 120, right? Just from, without doing any division, just looking at the factors, we can see one of these numbers goes into 120 and one doesn't. Do you know which one it is? 80 does or doesn't? Why? What's missing? That's missing. Do you see? You see what I mean or no? Huh. You don't see what I mean? Watch. Um, man, how can we explain that? Let's see. Because, Diego, you see it or no? You don't see it? Samantha, do you see what I'm talking about or no? 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 Dang. You're confused. Wait, because the way we get 240, right? 240 is 8 times 3 times 5 times 2. And where do we get all these 8, 3, 5, and 2? Where do we get those? From these factors, from these right? Factors, right? The, eight the eight is because that's what they have in common, right? The three, this three is because 24 has a three in it, but 80 doesn't, right? And we want to figure out what, what's the smallest thing these both go into. So three has to be involved. This one has a five, right? That's true, but, but all of these numbers, 24 will go into it because 24, this makes the 24. This is, this is 24. Yes? Yes. These two things right here make 24, right? That means that 24 times 5 is a multiple of 24, and 24 times, well, 10. Well, 24 times 5 is a multiple of, of 24, right? But does this number make 80? Because the 2's missing. This number doesn't make 80, because the 2's missing. No, yeah? No, yeah. I, don't I don't know. All right. All right. Let's move on. If you don't get it, it's fine. It's okay. It's okay. If I throw it over my head and make it in the trash can, uh, you have homework. If I miss, you don't have homework. If I make it, you have... Ha, you have homework. That's funny. <laughs> Yes. Yes. <laughs> How many times what? No, that's the no, first that's time the first I've ever done that in my life. <laughs> wow. I probably couldn't make it two times in a row. I'm amazed I made it that time. Nah. All right. Hey, um, check this out. On your homework, it said find the LCM and the GCF of these two numbers, right? Right. Right. And then, and then that, was that was really, really confusing. confusing. And, so and so I did it this way. Here's what I showed you guys. You that that you came in for help in this, help morning. this morning. But one thing, but when, one you thing when you guys come in for help, some of you are working really well together, but then some of you aren't. And then, but you should, because you're going to be way better that way. So here's what I showed you. This uses, and this uses LCM. To reduce this, you find the greatest common factor. What goes into 10 and goes into 40? The biggest thing. What is it? Just tell me. 10, right. 10. So 10 goes in, and what about A and A squared? What's the biggest thing that goes into A and A squared? A. That's the greatest common factor. You could reduce that by 10A. If you reduce this by 10a, what would be left? Juan. And if you reduce this by 10a, 4a. So you'd be left with 1 over 4a. What about the squared? How many times does a go into a squared? 
What is A squared? What is A squared? Yeah, you do. Yeah, a yeah, times A. Times A. Right? right? So you're so focused on calculation that you see that and you're like, I don't know. It's just a number. A squared means A times itself. Yeah. Well, for this, if I reduce 10A over 40A squared, it would be 1 over 4A. Um, how many times does A go into A squared? A times. Remember, watch. Check this out. Oh my gosh. Remember how I told you? It says right there on the board. Remember I told you how to read division? You don't say A squared divided by A. You say A times what? equals a equals squared. A so a squared. times what is a squared? a squared? A. Do you see why that's, really, why powerful? that's really powerful? Dang, you guys thought I was being rude on your quiz when I made you say those things, huh? Remember I had you say, what is this really asking? That's why. Because you read it right, then it's easy. OK. Hey, common denominator. Common denominator. What's the smallest, What's the smallest thing these thing both go both into? Go into? They, so, they, 10 and, so 10 and, and 40, 40, that would be 40, 40, right? 40 right? Okay, so, okay, so 40, 40 would be would my be denominator for sure. What about, what about a, and a, a and a squared? A squared. A cubed. A squared. Because, well, because, they well, both go they into both a, cubed, a cubed, yes. yes. They, do. they do. But it's not the but smallest. Not the smallest. A, squared a squared goes into goes itself, yeah? A squared goes into a squared how many times? Juan. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. okay. And A goes and into A squared, goes into a squared, squared how, many times? how many times? A times. A times. We did it right here, right? right here, Remember? Right. How many times how many does times A go into A squared? A, squared? A, times. a times. So actually, if, so I, actually, wanted if I wanted to get a common, common denominator, denominator, I would have to multiply have this, to one multiply this one by 4A. Four four a. A. That's weird. That's weird. <laughs> so this so would be, let's say they were both 1, right? This would be 4A plus what? Plus what? If that's one, what, that's one, what does this one, one, have, this to one have to be? Plus one. Plus it's already got it's the already common, common denominator, denominator, right? This, this is, is the lowest, lowest common, common multiple, multiple of those two terms. Just, just like, like, what's the LCM, what's the LCM of three and six? Three. I mean, I'm, oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Abraham, you see what I'm trying to get you to see? The lowest common the lowest multiple common of three and six is six. So if I asked you to do this, you wouldn't need to change that number. This would be two plus one over six. Because you would multiply this by two over two, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Holy moly guacamole. Eventually, yeah. Well, it would be one half, right? Yeah, when you're all done, but we don't even need to worry about that. Okay. Okay. Man. Here's what I want you to try. I want you to do this. I want you to try that. Go ahead, Brandon. It's time to get crack a lacking, buddy. That before? You just said it. No. Well, you just said it. Oh, wow. Well, you heard me say it. I'm somebody else. But I said it before that, and you heard it. That's what made you start this whole conversation. <laughs> All right. Parth, you done with that? Yeah? No problems, Parth? So then, Parth, I got one for you then. You ready? If you got this one done, I would like you to try the next one right here. I would like you to try to reduce uh, this thing right here. Hmm. Um,
Abraham, Abraham, you know what's cool? You know what's cool? Ice cream. Ice cream. But you know what's cool about this? I didn't teach you how to do these, but I did teach you what LCM and GCF really are. And now if you know that, then you know how to do these. I taught you what toast is. I didn't teach you how to use the toaster. Oscar, is this going to work out for you, buddy? Maybe we're just going to wait and find out, huh? Oh, oh, wow. You better pick it up, buddy. Oh, no. All right. All right. Guess what your homework is? Those two. Bell's about to ring. That's your homework. Yeah. Yeah.